Hey, welcome back to DIY Bands. Thank you again for tuning in. I am going to be covering probably my favourite of my newest VSTs. Uh, this is a clipper slash limiter um, that I've been playing with and I found it works absolutely brilliantly. It's completely free as per everything on this channel um so i will put a link in the description below for you to download if you so wish to um it's got a lot of decent reviews i'm just learning how to use it really i've learned a bit on i've got it sounding how i like but i'm not entirely sure why everything works the way it works do you know what i mean um, but I will go through, I've saw some videos of it and there's not really much there in the ways of explaining um, why, you know, like, like how to how to use this plugin. So I thought I'd just go through and share what I've learned really and we'll go through and have a look there. Um, so here is a track that I've taken uh, completely unmastered, so it's a, just a mix. And what I'll do, actually, let's leave that bypass there. So, it's just a mix of the song that I've got. And uh, what I'll do... Once again, it's Christmas time! Okay, so that's the difference. Obviously, yes, it's making it a lot louder, but if you listen to, I don't know, let's say like maybe the snare, with it off, the snare is pretty much the same volume. So... With it on, in the mix, it gels a little bit closer together. It brings the guitars and bass up. It brings everything else up, really, uh, to do with up to the loudest, uh, in comparison with the loudest point, and then it fits. Um, but what it... Now, the idea behind it is messing around with your release um, and your threshold here. These are your, your main, these are what I would say were your main components um, to how much it turns it down how and how long it turns it down for, basically. So this is going to be how to do like how much we're pushing into the limiter uh, or clipper, however you're using it. Um, and this is going to be how long it's holding it for. So... I want it to pretty much turn down. Here's a snare hit. I want it to turn down or release the the turn down. <laughs> so I would turn it back up again about here. So I'm getting the hit and then back to so normal volume. So in fact, I'll probably turn that down. 24 milliseconds. It's probably about right, isn't it? Really making that up. Where's the... um? So 24 is about there. That might be okay. 42. So what are we at there? 103, 104, 105, 106. No, I've lost it. 103. So what am I aiming for here? There we go. So I'll be turning it back up just after the snare hit, which will which will be sustaining that snare as well, you know. When you first install, when you first uh, put this um, VST on, this sits down here. This is on that, and all these dials are off. Now, if we have a listen, Chris, and what you're seeing here is it pretty much doing nothing. Now, what you need to do is push this up. So this is your drive, so how much you're going to be pushing this signal through. Find it till it's taking it down, you know, a couple of dB. Now, one thing I don't like about it is that it's not very stable. It doesn't crash, but sometimes it closes and you have to open it back up again. Sometimes it minimizes everything. Now, I've only found this issue whilst uh, since I've downloaded this um, VST, but I'm living with it because it's brilliant. It might just be because I'm using Zionwave, but if you're using Zionwave, I would expect to hear the same 
yeah, expect the same results. Um, so this bit here is your overall volume. So what volume you're actually going to be getting out of it. And what we're going to do, we're going to limit it there at 0.17, which is the, the lowest amount it goes. And what that does is it stops it from hitting zero. Now, when we hit zero, digitally, we get a clip. Clips sound awful, so we don't like them, so we don't want them. But we're going to stop it at 0.17. Now, what that means is that we will never get a clip. Loudest it's going to get there is 0.17. Now this scale bit here, um, this is for CD. So all this does changes the location of the numbers. Um, if you just go through, so this I believe is for broadcasting. This I believe the scale used for CDs and audio, and this is for films. I might have got them wrong, um, but we're obviously dealing with music, so you may want to change the scale if you're doing a score for a film or TV or, you know, something like that. But apparently they all have their. It's something I didn't know before, but. I've not seen it before. It might just be a little, you know, um, niche thing just for this VST, but that's what that does. So yeah, it doesn't actually change anything in the sound. Um, hystericeris. I never, I could not know how to say that word. Hist, hist. We'll call it hist. Um, what that does is quite clever. It has twenty millis, two hundred milliseconds. It will look into the past and see how it turned down previous peaks and how much it turned down by etc and it will apply that kind of algorithm to your next peak i don't know how it works in the background um but i thought that was pretty good now because i want if you had it all, all the way off see it's done it again if you have it all the way off um it will look at each peak individually which I kind of want because I've got a lot of transitions in here. Um, let's say like from you know from loud to quiet, and I don't want it to be. I want them to be impactful. I don't want it to be turning them down when they shouldn't be turned down, and vice versa. Not turning them down enough when they need to be. So I'm just having it off for like a little bit, on a little bit. I mean, and my release uh, is at 42 milliseconds. Because what I want to do is I want to turn it down just after a snare hit. Um, there to about there ish and what it will do is turn it back up again along the rest of it and then boom turn it down and then turn it back up again and um, what that will do that will sustain the snare and it will gel it a little bit more but it also take away the the as much in like the proper impact of the of the snare itself so it, it gels together a bit better I, I feel um, now this is going to be how quickly Once again, it's Christmas time to stop. What I'm going to do now is just switch to this and compare to this one. Once again, it's Christmas time to stop the sound up in a line. Mr. Claus is coming, so we can't stay up late. I know this year I'll get some gifts Last year really took the fist Ended up on the naughty list I chose to masturbate I've been a good boy all year Fancy I didn't touch myself But I'm not scared of the man Who's coming down my chimney He's got a big sack of gifts Alright so I feel that this gives it a cleaner. I think this is a bit muddy. I'm taking off a lot there to be. Honest. Once again, it's Christmas time. Once again, it's Christmas time. Stop you sound up in a line, Mr. Claus. Oh, one thing I did I did miss. So I mean, let's just stick with this for a second. So yeah, obviously this I feel like this is a bit cleaner, a bit more professional sound. Um, whereas this one, it, it ends up mudding a little bit. I think it, it is to the hi hat especially. It's all over the place. Uh, in it proper, really bitty. You know what I mean? Um, so I think I've gonna replay i'm gonna do a few a few different songs with this vst and see how it goes one quick thing that i did just skip over 
is your soft clip. So if you at the moment this is running as a limit uh, as a clipper, uh, but if you wanted to use it as a limiter, you'd add a bit of soft clip on there. Okay. Um, so what that does is the the arc that it turns it down by. I think it's better described here. There we go. Um, at the moment, this is running as a clipper, sharp, anything above that, no, it's not going to happen. But if we turn that up, look, you get a little bit of a soft clip. Now, that is pretty much how a limiter works. It will gradually turn it down. Obviously, the time in between here is minuscule between, you know, well, where would it have been? So, between here and then when it does get its full, minim uh, full volume takedown between there and there is absolutely minimal um some people use limiters um 